why? What's my motivation to come with this example? Because this example came from another example that was presented in a Congress uh, last year. This was a business uh, HR example. So we have employees, and the employees, they are getting older, and they, you have three types of employees. This was a situation in Brazil. And this, the situation is a public company, and this public company has these employees uh, entering as a trainees. And as the time passes by, they can, after the training, they become a common workers and then a masters. Okay, but I can use this model to, apply, to be applied to marketing and I can put other parameters and use this. So, we have consumers, instead of employees, I have... Let's try to reduce uh, this kind of upgrade. We can give more time for them. So you have a campaign and you can get um, 27 weeks and we try it again and let's see if the graphics will be the same. Of course, in the first part is going, they are going to be the same, almost the same. But after this, you can have uh, some expectations of uh, the graphics here. So you have the blue ones and the yellow ones, they are getting together and they are very, very poor. Uh, you have less consumers at the end. If you got this at the first part of the campaign, of your campaign, so you get some kind of uh, information. But if you last more your campaign, so you can have another situation here and you can see at the end how many beginners you have, how many consumers you have, how many masters in total, and how have been away. I didn't tell you, but you, this model considers the, the possibility of traveling. So you, cons you, have, you are a consumer of a product, you have to travel to another country, you don't buy this for three weeks, you are out when you come again. So it's considered, it's a kind of uh, situation that uh, helps students to understand and to build because they can have access to the code and they can put other agents, they can interact, they can create rules and they can understand this better and I can tell you, it's not so difficult as it seems, okay? Um, you, I try to give you some uh, understanding about the agents, interaction between agents, how the agent-based modeling can be applied to uh, marketing, and uh, I suppose if you want to use NetLogo, we have lots of videos. I put in this website, I made a, I have a website, and uh, I will give you the website. Uh, I put on the website the if you look for wiki and my name you will find the authentic learning the, the first page there and you have lots of uh, models you have videos in YouTube if you put net logo tutorial you will see lots of uh, tutorials and uses net logo can be used in a collaborative way. So you put students in a, you can install the net logo in a network and put students to work together and to build the models together. Okay? Uh, it's called HubNet. H U B uh, N E T. HubNet Net Logo. And here lots of models. And the models, you can open them, you can uh, change the code, and you can apply it. Try it. If you have any uh, questions, my email ilan at api.abn.br.
the acknowledgement to the Brazilian government that is supporting it. 